Welcome back, one and all, to the show. It is Sale of the Century. Frankie's got a huge lead, as you guys can see. $50 for him, $15 for Mark. Brandon at $25. And guess what, guys? I got more $5 questions. Yay! Okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Frankie sounds overly enthusiastic even though he's got a massive lead at this point. Jane Seymour was known for her role in what Bond film? That's time, Hi. guys. Be live and let die. Live and let die. Okay, another question. We'll try again. The movie Twister was about what phenomenon? Brandon. It's tornadoes. Yes, it is indeed. Tornadoes. The American supermarkets introduced what in the mid-70s? Brandon. Shopping carts? No, unfortunately. Barcodes. Barcodes. Ah. If you can believe that one. <clears throat> Carlos Estevez is better known by what name? Mark. Emilio. Charlie Sheen. Ah! And he's duh winning. How many valves? <laughs> how many valves does a trumpet have? What's the question? How, how many, many valves, valves are in the word trumpet? No, how many valves? V A L V E S. Valves on a trumpet. How many valves? Brandon. Three. Yeah, there are three. In what year was William Shakespeare born? No one knows. It's 1564. Time. 1564. In publishing terms, P.O.D. means what? Repeat. In publishing terms, P.O.D. means what? It's time. Print on demand. Print on demand. The alcohol absinthe is normally what color? Frankie. Green. It is indeed green. Good job. It is. Bargain time. Instant bargain going to Frankie. A chance to pick up something. You didn't pick up the last one, but we'll see what happens now. When you have a chance to take home this. Ah, uh, Frankie. We've been trying to make this show good here, and I think this is definitely going to do it here. Embedded with Swarovski crystals, green jade, and 24 karat diamond cuts, this lovely diamond and emerald pendant will be the talk of the town for your favorite sweetie. Valued at over $2,500 on sale this century for only 16 bucks. $16. I want to give it to you for 16 You know what? I'm going to give it to you for 15 Well, I'm going to go ahead... I want you to take on this pendant right here, Frankie, for fifteen dollars. You'll be at forty bucks, the cost of two questions if you take it. Fifteen dollars is what I'm offering. Frankie, you know you can use this pendant. It's well a oh, quite a bit amount of money with all the jade, all the diamonds in it. Fifteen dollars. It's going once. And Frankie. Oh, there's more. Yeah. If you take this offer I have in my pocket here, one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars extra added on to that. That's a lot of money here. It's going once for fifteen. Going once. You have a pretty hard bargain, but I'm gonna say twice. No, oh. no sale. Uh, Frankie oh, no. once. Oh God, John! There was another sale surprise. No way. Mm. Please tell me that yeah. you're, you're joking. I am not joking. Oh, there God. was another surprise no. in there. I slipped in. You slipped it in? I slipped it in. You sneaky man. Frankie, you just passed up something. 
Hang on, let me dig it out. Here he we go. He oh, had the decanter oh, and he missed out 1200 the envelope here, John. I got it. It, it has the tag inside here, but I'm going to count the money out here. Frankie, you passed up. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, two grand. Uh huh. Mm. And apparently he was trying to bankrupt. He's trying to bankrupt, right now. Trying to bankrupt uh. the show at this point. Ah, uh, two grand. Two that would have been a twenty five hundred dollar cash deal on top of everything. On top of everything else. But he's got no he said uh, no deal. He's got a fifteen a twenty five dollar lead over Brandon and a forty five dollar lead over Mark as we continue with the following five dollar question. What is the capital city of Spain? Brandon. Barcelona. Madrid. It's uh. Madrid. What actor portrayed the character Neo in the movie series is known as The Matrix? Brandon. Keanu Reeves. You got it. You got your five right back. What color is the flower of a Welsh poppy? The flower of a Welsh poppy in what color? Time. Be yellow. Yellow. What is the only chess piece that can move in a diagonal direction? Brandon. It would be the bishop. It would be the bishop. Good job. Who won an actor for her role in Cactus Flower? Time. She's a nice shade of gold. Goldie Hawn. Since 2006, what is the minimum age a person must be to log... And to access a Facebook account. Mark. Uh, repeat it, please. Since 2006, the, min the minimum age to be on Facebook is what? Minimum age to be in a casino? No, no Facebook. on Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Okay. Uh, off 14. Off by 1. 13. Oh, where's the first Thank game time damn it <laughs> no chance to read the other question it's all right mark there's a ten dollar card up there hopefully you can get it my friend control of the fame game board is extremely critical uh where will you choose do i do the person or do i do a thing let's do the thing this time sure players are looking for a, a, a particular thing here I am located in New York City, and I was first held in the year 1907. I have built held annually, except for 1942 and 1943, due to blackouts from war. My design has been updated over the years, and my first design was from wood and iron, and was lit with 100 incandescent light bulbs. Since 2009, I have been up top my perch year-round, and when I must descend, I descend 141 feet in a mere minute, saying hello to the month of January. Brandon. Oh, What is the Times Square uh, New Ball? The ball in Times Square is exactly right. I knew that one. And Brandon, this is in Jeopardy. I was in the wrong show, but a great idea for that one. There's a ten dollar card there. There's some prizes up there, and you pick what number? Give me number eight. Behind uh, go the snowman. Game. The snowman is. A good hey, question. The supply of rice aroni, the San Francisco treat, cooks up quick and easy in just a few short minutes. All from rice aroni. And you know what we're going to do? We're also going to throw in $500 because we're bored. And we just want to give away stuff. Nice. <laughs> so you get the year supply of rice aroni plus the uh, $500 in cash. Let's find out where everything else on the board was. Behind number one we had... The, that was where the $10 money card was. Two... was a prize package from Frito-Lay. Three had... 
Wonka, nice. Four was Nabisco. Six had a place where I'm familiar with Hershey, and nine was In and Out Burger. We're gonna end things off with a speed round, guys. Sixty seconds on the clock. Let's clear out Brandon's podium. Good luck. Five dollars if you're right, and five dollars if you're wrong. I'm gonna try to get as many of these questions. Remember, you have only three seconds to answer before I call you wrong. Yes. Good luck. To you guys, the faint the speed round begins now. Who was the first Beatle to be widowed? Mark. John Lennon. Wrong. What Peanuts character is often calling Linus her sweet babu? Mark. Sally. Right. What is the what is the last railroad you can purchase in Monopoly? Brandon. B and L. Wrong. If something was served a la mode, it's served with what? Mark. Hi. Wrong. If found, what fast food chain has the slogan Louisiana Fast? Frankie. Popeyes. Right. In order to be a perfect game of bowling, how many strikes must be made? Brandon. Twelve. Correct. What actress? What actress's drink combines Sprite and either cherry juice or grenadine? Brandon. Shirley Temple. Right. Tears for Fears, according to their song, Everybody Wants to Rule What? Brandon. The World. Right, when starting in the game of life, you can choose college or it's over. Frankie's got it. All right. Wow. Oh. Some of the ones you guys missed. The uh, first Beatle to be widowed was Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney. The last railroad you can buy in... Monopoly is short line. Something served a la mode, it has to be made with ice cream. In order to bowl a perfect game, you must make 12 strikes in a row. And I was going to read the question. When starting the game of life, you must choose college or what career is the right answer. And I was going to say that. You were going to say it, but time just barely got you. Mark, you didn't pick up anything in the game. You end up with zero, but you know what we're going to do? Because we're nice people. We like you, Mark, a lot. You're going to be back in the next episode. And I'm going to give you a hint and give you $250. How about that? Oh, that sounds fair. Brandon, you picked up... Uh, what did you pick up? <laughs> the the, uh, the Rice-A-Roni. The rice The rice Yeah! The year supply of rice <laughs> And the $500 in cash. I'm gonna go ahead and, and add. A, I'm gonna add a zero to that forty-five, making it four hundred and fifty bucks. So you picked up a total in cash and prizes that we hear supply of, I believe, is over seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yes, seven hundred fifty dollars plus the five, plus the four fifty, a whole lot of money. I'm not even doing, going to even attempt to do the math. Brandon, it was great to see you, man. Thanks for being a part of the show. No, thank you for having me. It was fun. Frankie, we're not done yet, though. You oh, have a chance not. to win a whole. No, you have a chance to win a whole lot more money. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the commercial break going, and then when we come back, he'll play the big money game. Don't go anywhere, guys. Sale is just getting good.